First off, let's look at this Jeep right here. What's this? This is a Jeep Wrangler. It's gonna be a Jeep Wrangler two-door sport four by four. Nice little color. What kind of color is this? It's gonna be like a, a what's this like a bluish color? What what is this color? Anvil. It's got an anvil color on it. it got some nice wheels on it. Man, it's a pretty nice little two-door sport. It's got the uh what's this a drop top? I ain't gonna say drop top, but the little cloth roof. I don't like the cloth roof myself. I ain't a big fan of the cloth roof myself. But look at the inside of this bad boy, man. It's cloth seats, but I like the little orange stitching that's going. They got on it, the orange stitching. Got the orange stitching on the steering wheel. Damn, that's nice. That's super nice. The orange stitching on the steering wheel is really setting it off. Got the new body screen. So this is going to be a 2024. Got the 10-inch screen on this bad boy. Let me see if it come on. Nah, it ain't going to come on. But yeah, it look real good, man. It's real nice little Jeep, you know? Real nice little two-door sport. Got a two-door sport. How much they want for this two-door sport? They probably gonna be asked about 40 some thousand. Yeah, they want 41, what's that, 41,000. 40, they want $41,000 for it. $41,000 base price is gonna be 31,000. But when you get all the little extra amenities, $41,000. I think that's a pretty good deal for a Jeep. Cause you know, with Jeeps, you can do a whole bunch of stuff, go four by four in, you know, and this one is kind of loaded. Yeah, as you can see, this one ain't super fully loaded, but it's loaded and you get the nice little running boards. These is nice. That's the extra money you got to pay for those. But that's a nice little Jeep. That's a two. What's that? A two-door Sport 2024. Here go another 2020. What's this? This I don't think this is 2024 right here too. This is gonna be another 2024 Sport. This one ain't gonna have the running boards. Same kind of wheels. Actually, as you can see, they got the same kind of wheels. Same everything in the front. But uh, this particular one is black. It's gonna, this one gonna be black. Same interior. Same screen. But they wanted 41. They wanted on that one 41. This one they want forty-eight. Well, forty-eight thousand. They want forty-eight thousand on this one. They want forty-eight thousand for this one. Being it, this is the regular price, forty-nine thousand. They want forty-eight thousand for it. So they dropped a thousand dollars off of it. I'm pretty sure you can probably get it knocked down about forty-three, forty, maybe even forty-two. Like if you can talk real good, I say you probably get it knocked down about forty-two because this one ain't super loaded. I wonder why this one costs more more money than the other one. Let me see. How much did they want for this one? This one is 48. They want it 41. This one 41. And they want 48 for this one. Maybe it's because it's got the hard top on it. But uh I would take this one over that one. I think this one looks better because you get the running boards on this one. You don't get the running boards on that one. Same interior, same screen, same interior. Better color on this one. This one is uh same everything everything is you gotta either get a better they're pretty much the same this one got different lights on it though this one got different lights as you can see that's got different lights see the difference in the lights see these lights on this one and these this one what's the difference oh i see what I, this one probably got a little more stuff going on with it got a different kind of fuel cap on it it's got a keyless entry on it yeah i see what we talking about keyless entry got the better looking uh dial uh dash better looking dashboard hard top okay i see why the, i see the difference as you can see this they want forty eight thousand for this one this one does not have keyless entry as you can see that does not keep i'm gonna show you what keyless entry means this is keyless entry right here see that you can enter without having your key all you gotta do is have your key fob so yeah i see why this one's a little more loaded when they do got the same dash though but the keyless entry that probably made it a little bit more money so this one and then you got the better fuel cap you know this one don't even have a fuel a fuel door for the cover the fuel cap but uh let's go to the next one let's go to the next one here's another one this is gonna be a this is probably gonna be a 2023 this is gonna be a 2023 wrangler two-door sport they got a couple two-door sports out here they want forty five thousand for this bad boy forty five thousand and got the doo-doo green i know it ain't doo-doo green but i like to call it do this actually sage green sage green they want forty five thousand dollars for this one forty five thousand dollars for this one got the i i don't really like the wheels i'm not feeling the wheels you don't get no running boards you do get keyless entry it's gonna be the old older older screen, the same kind of screen I got in my Jeep. It's not the it's not the lower lower level screen. It's just this is 2023 versus the 2024 right there. It's gonna be a 2023. So this is the type of screen that came in the 2023s. Different kind of whole little different seat setup too, as you can see. So the seats look a little bit different. I'll go show you. As you see the dash, this dash is like a metalish plastic little dash right here. And uh, you go look inside the other one. 
Let's go look in the other one real quick. We go look inside this other, this 2024. You can see, see the seats look different. See how the seats look a little different. See that? The seats look a little bit, not a whole lot different, but a little bit different. And you get a different kind of dash. This is like cloth. The other one is plastic and you get that new screen too. Move that out the way. You get the new screen. That's the newer looking screen. But this one's still, everything else is pretty much the same. Same motor and everything else. So that's going to be 45. So 45 for this one, 48 for that one, 41. The 41 right there is the one I would go with. It's the new 20. Yeah, like I was saying, I would go with this, that further one right there. That's a 2024. Even though it's got the cloth top, I ain't really feeling the cloth top. But they want 41 for that one versus 48 for this one, 45 for this one. And uh, that one's got the, nice, got the nice wheels. That got nice wheels too. Not feeling the wheels on this one. And it's got a more of an off-road, off road all season tire on those two. This one does just have a street tire all season. They want 45,000 for this one. Gonna be a 2023. Pretty much the same as that one. This is just gonna be black. It has keyless entry like the other one does. So it's pretty much the same exact Jeep. Just this one is the color of it is black. As you can see top the top the fuel cover the fuel uh door to cover the fuel cap that one doesn't have it same exact lights so this one might be a little bit more loaded than that one here goes another one man they got sports for days don't they <laughs> they got they got wrangler sports out here for days they go another they want forty nine thousand for this one what's this a 2024 now this is a 2023 they want forty nine thousand for this one but this is a wrangler right here this is a four door so that was the last the sport this is a four door so this is the four door. They want forty nine thousand for this bad boy. Forty nine thousand dollars. Gonna be a black. It's got the keyless entry. It's locked. Can't get in it. This one is locked. The one I want to look at would probably it would be locked. But yeah, it's the uh, total price of it is fifty one thousand. They knocked it down to forty nine thousand. So they knocked two grand. They knocked two grand off of it. It's nice. It's a twenty twenty three. It's not fully fully loaded, but it's loaded. You know, it's got cloth seats. You got the no, nah, this ain't even no. We can't we can't even say this one is loaded, loaded, because it's got the baby screen in there. It ain't even got the big screen, it's got the baby screen in it, so and then they got no running boards. I mean, I'm not knocking it because it don't have those things. I'm just saying for forty nine thousand dollars, you need to have running boards, you need to have pretty much you gotta have a big screen. I'm not gonna you gotta have a big screen. You gotta have a big screen. Here goes a 2024. This is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be the uh this is an E? 4 by E. This is a 4 by E right here. This is gonna be a 4 by E Wrangler right here. Ooh, it's nice too. Look at the wheels on this bad boy. That thing is woo, this thing's shot. That black with that blue is going crazy. Y'all like that black and that blue? It's going crazy right now. That black and blue going crazy. This is probably gonna be a uh what's that? This is a Wrangler. Which, which model of Wrangler is this? 4 by e This is going to be a 4 by e This is a brand new one, too. Look at that. Got the big boy screen. Got Look at that blue stitching. That, like, baby blue stitching on it. It's crazy. This one is leather, and it's got the uh, mechanical seats. I don't, know the, I don't know the correct jargon, but I'm going to call it a mechanical seat because I'm from the hood, so I'm going to talk hot talk. So it's got the mechanical seat right there, as you can see. Nice little Jeep Wrangler mats. I like that. I like them Jeep Wrangler mats. This bad boy nice nice man this is nice nice got the running boards on it keyless entry Woo! this thing is crazy how much they want for it they want sixty nine thousand for it the base price for this is sixty six thousand but they want sixty nine thousand so because it's got a couple things on it 20 inch wheels uh painted gray wheels 275 all-terrain tires led lamps led premium reflector headlamps daytime running lamps led they got the blue toe hooks top of the line stereo system it's nice man this bad boy is nice for sixty nine thousand dollars it's leather all the way out it's leather from the front to back it's got the leather it look good man it definitely looks good and what what i like about it is it's fully painted even a uh fender flares are painted you know you see these fender flares on this uh gladiator they're not painted these fender flares on this right here this jeep wrangler what is this the jeep wrangler this is high altitude i knew it was this is a jeep wrangler four door high altitude four by four by e you know the high altitudes they all come on 20 inch wheels 
For those who want to know what a four, uh, high altitude is, a high altitude is more of a city Jeep. Like this, this Jeep is not really made to go. It's made to go off-roading, but like just minimal off-roading because as you can see, it's got 20 inch wheels on it. And these are not like really off-roady type wheels. So it's not really made to go off-roading. You can do a little off-roading, but I wouldn't recommend it because as you can see, you got your bumper painted. When you go off-roading, that's going to that's gonna be scratched all the way up as you can see everything is really fully painted when you go let me go see if I can find another one see how yeah we can look at this one right here we can look at this uh sport right here you could take the sport off-roading as you can see it's got the 18 inch wheels off-roading wheel it's got the bumper that's already not painted so cause, so when you scratch it up it's not really gonna do nothing as well as the grill is not painted so when you got this truck is made to go this jeep is made to go off-roading but when you look at the uh high altitude you can pretty much look at this jeep and tell it's not really it's not really an off-roading jeep it's also an electric this also uh is a hybrid so it's half electric um half gas as you can see there goes the electric plug right there lovely jeep lovely jeep sixty nine thousand dollars is a lot of money but i'm a jeep owner and i'm gonna tell you i'm not i wouldn't pay sixty nine thousand for it but I'm pretty sure you can go in there for this Jeep. You'll walk out of there paying sixty thousand. You can you can get about nine thousand dollars knocked off because it, I think they're giving a nice little. I think they're giving some kind of uh, Jeep is giving a discount now on all new Jeeps. So I'm pretty sure they're giving like a three thousand dollar discount if I'm not mistaken. And on top of that, I'm pretty sure the dealer will knock some money off of it for you. So I'm pretty sure you can get out of here with this Jeep at about sixty two, maybe sixty two, sixty one, maybe maybe a little less. But it's a beautiful Jeep as you can see, sixty nine thousand. Pretty sure you can get a better deal than that if you just go in there and talk. This one right here, this is going to be a Gladiator, Jeep Wrangler Gladiator 4x4 Rubicon. It's a Rubicon, too. Top of the line, Rubicon. As you can see, all Rubicons are made to go off-road. That bumper ain't even painted so because they know they're going to scratch it up. Got your nice little Rubicon sign on the side. Jeep 3D, uh, trail rated 4x4, keyless entry. Got the red. Uh, you know when you got a Rubicon, it's always going to be red inside. Red stitching on it. They want $58,000 for it. It was $64,000. See what I'm saying? It was $64,000. Now they want $58,000. And you probably could go in there and get another three, four grand knocked off if you know how to talk. You got leather inside of it. You got leather. Nice mats. As you can see, it got the nice green. It's going to be a 2024, 2023. This is a 2023 Rubicon. So it's definitely a beautiful truck. I wish they would have had the bed liner in it, but you can get that yourself. Beautiful, beautiful truck. Got the nice wheels on it. Nice, nice wheels. Nice fat little off-roading tire. Looks good in the back. And like I said, you want to get this particular Jeep, you can go to Lock Monday in Elkhart, Indiana, right there. Look it up online. And as well as I will leave a link in the description for the woman you can talk to. Her name is Monica. I'll leave a link in the description as well. But yeah, look at that. This is a beautiful Jeep Rubicon. We're gonna go to another Jeep. Uh, this is not a Rubicon. This is Gladiator, though. It's a definitely a Gladiator, but it's not a Rubicon. It's going to be a 2023. 2023 is going to be black. I mean, it still looks good. You know what I mean? This one is more of a... It's got a better... This one got a better looking bumper than the uh, Rubicon. But the Rubicon got way better wheels. These are more, more for city wheels. These are not off-roading tires. But you do get the keyless entry with this one. You, get, you don't get leather seats. But you do get... You get the nice size screen. The, the big, this is the biggest screen you can get in the 2023. So, don't think that it's a small screen. They want fifty nine thousand dollars for this one. Base price for a uh, Gladiator would be thirty eight thousand dollars. But this is a Jeep Gladiator Sport four x four. So this is gonna be a sport. It's got a couple nice amenities like the big screen. You're gonna get the keyless entry, and uh, you're gonna get the. As you can see, you're gonna get the uh, bed liner in this one. That Gladiator doesn't have bed liner. This particular sport has bed liner. It is chill. It's chilly out here. Lord Jesus, man. I'm out here. I'm out here fighting the elements for y'all, so y'all can see these good Jeep deals. You got your nice little back seat in here. Brand new. This is brand new. Even though it's a 2023, it's still brand new. It is 2023 for those. It's not those that don't know. It's not 2024. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put this hood on because it is freezing out here, and y'all ain't gonna get me sick in this piece. So they want fifty nine thousand dollars for this bad boy. What do they want for this one? This is a sport, 2023, 59,000, or you can get the Gladiator for 58,000. See what I'm saying? 58,000, 2023, 58,000 for a Jeep Gladiator. This is just a sport. That's a Gladiator. So which one you gonna pick? The smart person would pick the Gladiator. 
loaded way more got way more amenities you can do a lot more stuff with this you ain't got to buy no off-roading tires you ain't got to got no running boards that got that got running boards too but those are off-roading running boards on this one what do you mean what do you mean right here see these are off-roading running boards they don't stick out these running boards right here they stick out they're more for show they're more for show like i got the same kind of running boards on my jeep so they're more for show so you got regular real wheels and tires on this one you got off-roading wheels and tires on this one better looking bumper not better looking bumper but a more of a off-roady looking bumper this one is more of a city looking bumper exact same bumper they came on my jeep i got a jeep wrangler sahara unlimited and this one right here i'm pretty sure that rubicon got a camera in the front if i'm not mistaken no nah, this one don't this particular one doesn't but so you're gonna give them 60 what how much they want for this one 60 59 000 you gonna give them 59 000 for a 4x4 sports gladiator or you gonna give them 58 000 for the rubicon get the rubicon the rubicon is the top of the line that's the top of the line that's what i'm telling you it's the top of the line get the rubicon but it's, last but not least let's check this jeep out right here it's gonna be another gladiator sport and they want fifty nine thousand dollars for this one so what you gonna choose the 2023 gladiator or you gonna choose the 2023 uh gladiator sport or the gladiator rubicon i'm going rubicon this one got keyless entry too bed liner on this one and uh this one got cloth seats like the other one does and it's pretty much the exact same truck actually it is the exact same truck just a different kind of color this is a granite color right here nice little 18 inch wheels on it these tires are horrible but uh only thing that this one has on top over the uh gladiator rubicon is it's got a bed liner in it and you can get your own bed liner but like you said like i said there's plenty of nice little deals out here let's go see what they got on on this one right here they got another jeep right here let's see what kind of deals they got on this one and that's gonna be my last one and i'm gonna slide on up out of here i'm gonna slide on up out of here baby look i gotta walk on these rocks damn near roll my ankle so i can show y'all what's going on with the gladiator this is gonna be another this is gonna be a rubicon for sure definitely a rubicon they want sixty-one thousand for this bad boy lord jesus it's locked this one is locked but it definitely looks good leather in it red stitching sixty-one thousand for the rubicon now i myself this is a 2023 rubicon this is a 2023 rubicon they want this the base price for this one is sixty-seven thousand dollars brand new msrp price but they, they're giving it to you for sixty-one thousand, so they're knocking six thousand dollars off of this one i myself if i was going to buy the jeep rubicon today i would walk right past this jeep rubicon and walk to that rubicon because remember i told you that rubicon over there they want fifty eight thousand dollars for it 58 versus sixty one thousand. only thing you get different on that one is you're going to get the little the little color the little, little cover the little mopar cover mopar but the little mopar bed cover that's all you getting is the mopar bed cover you can buy that yourself you can buy it that yourself for like two three hundred dollars so yeah you can buy that yourself for two three hundred dollars so i wouldn't even waste the extra two three thousand dollars on just a, a, a bed cover i wouldn't waste that i wouldn't i wouldn't waste that kind of money I, I just walk right to this one right here right to that rubicon right there and get it for fifty eight thousand dollars you know what i'm saying it's the exact same it's the exact same truck exact same truck only thing it don't have is the uh bed liner and the bed cover see fifty eight thousand dollars save yourself some money and you can go get all this stuff you can get this bed liner probably about 500 bucks and uh, with the uh cover probably another 300 dollars if that so that ain't number 800 dollars versus three thousand dollars do the math but uh yeah like i said there's plenty of deals out here on these jeeps and uh i look for these jeeps to probably drop more and more in price as uh as the time goes because the car market is correcting itself that is a beautiful jeep though that that high altitude is definitely beautiful man i love a street jeep but yeah as you can see there's definitely plenty of deals on jeeps all you got to do is get out here and find it and every one of these jeeps every one of these jeeps right here you know what i'm saying every one of these jeeps just because you see a price on it right here you can't walk right into that building and get a better deal if you know how to talk you know what i'm saying know how to talk use your mind do your research get online do go to uh car guru auto cars or whatever whatever car app you be going to check it out and uh find you some deals and then go in there and tell them i can go down i can go down the street or to the next state and get a better deal and they probably match that deal i'm not saying for sure don't take my word for it but 
I'm telling you, it's plenty of deals out here on Jeeps. As you can see, it's plenty of deals on Jeeps. And I'm gonna slide on up out of here. It's your boy T Light, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend about me. And let me know in the comments what would you like for me to show you? Would you like me to show you Dodge Ram trucks? I can go over to the Toyota lot. I can go to the used lot right there. Just let me know in the comments what you want me to see, what you want me to talk about, and what you want to see. And I'll tell you, I mean, I don't know everything about cars, but I know a lot about cars. I'm not a young guy. I'm not an old guy either, but I'm not a young guy either. So I can tell you what you need to know. And uh, and if I can't tell you, I'll, put, I'll point you in the right direction. But with that being said, man, y'all stay up and y'all stay copacetic. Stay away from negative people. It's your boy T Light. I'm the greatest werewolf of all time. I'm gone. Be the fan, that's what they call me. Promise that you never be lonely. Be the fan, that's what